it's me Armand and this is the seventh episode to my channel where we will be talking about monotremes. What exactly are monotremes you're probably thinking? Monotremes are egg laying mammals. There are only two species as you can see why because they're incredibly uh, rare in the genus type. Like you can find them easily but they're rare to actually like it's a spectacle because most mammals give live birth and these animals don't one of them is the platypus the more popular of the two the platypus is famous for like being kind of like a frankenstein they thought it was a fraud and speaking of frankenstein I'm you listening make some lightning I'm trying to do a dramatic scene for my YouTube channel. Nope, don't work. Okay, so like there's an episode in this show I used to watch called Phineas and Ferb, where there's this one episode where it was like, there was Agent, Agent P, or that the Perry, or Perry the platypus was like this Franken platypus. But back to the actual platypus, the male's lengths are, 2.5 to 5.3 feet, while the females are 1.5 to 3.5 feet in length. So there's a big difference between the male and the female's length. The female can lay up to two to three eggs at a time, and their prey is usually krill and small crustaceans. When they're hunting, they actually close their eyes and ears. Why do they do this? because they have electrosensors in their bill that help them detect prey. So remember when I was doing the electric eel episode and I said some mammals can do it? This is the platypus and the echidna. Those were the two mammals. Yeah, the echidna can also do it. There are two different types of it. First one is the western long-beaked echidna and, the, and then there's the short those are the two types of echidna. But back to the platypus. Its scientific name is Ornixus anatinus. And it's the last of the Orthonyctus kind. Now back to the echidna. The echidna's length, the, well the western long one, is 2.2 feet. And they can weigh up to 20 pounds. That's a big animal. While the, their smaller cousins, weigh up to 7.7 .7 pounds and can get up to 15 inches in length. That's like a foot and three inches, somewhere around that. Their scientific name are Tassiglossidae, that's their genus, and Tassiglossidae and the Antilictus, something like that. Again, if it's wrong, tell me in the comments below, but the echidna has these spines that help hold their baby after it's hatched, like a pouch. But not they're not like marsupials, they just hang in between. Both of these animals are very interesting. And the platypus actually has poisonous spurs on its legs. These poisonous spurs can inject poison, or sorry, venom, it's actually venom, because it's injected, it's not poison, into each, each of the males. The males use it to combat for who will get to mate, and the females lose their theirs from between three to five months of having it. So the females don't really need it, but the males do. This episode is about the frauds of nature. Like, platypus is Franken platypus, and echidna was actually the name of this Greek uh, wife and mother of all the monsters, like the Chimiera and stuff like that. She was the wife of this giant storm monster, who I'll talk about later. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to subscribe, 
give a like and tell me what you think in the comments below.